Inclusive Arts Livestream Festival in China invited artists from British, France, Japan, and German. July 26, this Sunday was the 30th anniversary of the Americans with Disabilities Act ADA. This significant anniversary is a time to celebrate, to reflect, and to set goals and expectations for the future. The Americans with Disabilities Act ADA was signed into law on July 26, 1990, by President George H. W. Bush. The ADA is one of America's most comprehensive pieces of civil rights legislation that prohibits discrimination and guarantees that people with disabilities have the same opportunities as everyone else to participate in the mainstream of American life, to enjoy employment opportunities, to purchase goods and services, and to participate in state and local government programs and services. Modeled after the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which prohibits discrimination on the basis of race, color, religion, sex, or national origin, and Section 504 of the Rehabilitation Act of 1973, the ADA is an equal opportunity law for people with disabilities. According to NEA website, the ADA continues to grant access and independence to 61 million Americans, 26% of the population, who live with some type of disability, though there is still a long way to go. On the same day, an inclusive arts festival presented its opening dance film Artificial Things from a British dance company Stopgap Dance Company. There is a webinar activity hosted at 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The artistic director, Laura Jones shared her creative process and her dance company development. It was founded in 1995 from a community dance company to a professional dance company. The funding mainly comes from the British Council and central government, but they still received from support from private foundations. Although no many personal donations, they still can afford full-time dancers, instructors, and performing expenses. Disability usually is not definite by the physical defect but the social judgment. Our society points those people as special. However, they should have had speaking power to have a voice for themselves. They have the same value as everyone else. Their efforts are for increasing the accessibility and inclusion of society. They will be treated respectfully and equally. They will be called as their preferred name, Laura said. We usually just give them a task and observe what they can create. Let them tell their story. Also, the production should be an opening dialogue between actors and audiences. We don't need to worry about the form since the meaning is more important. In addition, educational projects are an essential section of the company. The company consistently keeps regular practices for dancers and community students. There are workshops in schools and sometimes festivals and conferences as well. Let your donators see your potentials. Later on, one of the participators asks about sign language integration and how to help the tickets sale in the market. She explained the audio description and their choreographic ideas. Sign language and dance both are physical arts and movement, so there are some connections. Art itself is the most important thing, people would love something that we haven't seen and very valued about. Therefore, she wants to keep high ambitions and look for more potential buyers. Advocacy is crucial, in her opinion, artists need to let people understand they are valuable. We need more time and patient. We will introduce more artists, dance companies and their productions later this week. If you are interested in watching the dance film, we've added the link in the description area. Thank you for watching this video.